problem is we will buy so much stuff because so much stuff is really cool. And we have some Yeezys. What do you find to eat? Sayong? Sayong. I think it's not filled at all. <laughs> Ask for 15. It does the job, yeah. I just want 25. Welcome back, I saw another video here in Kuala Lumpur and today we have something very excited planned because we're going to the central market which apparently is huge and then we're going to the biggest Chinatown here in Kuala Lumpur. We are very excited to see more of Kuala Lumpur and also I really need some slippers so this is the perfect timing to get new shoes for me and also to get maybe some postcards for our families. Let's just go and see what we find. So far we really have no idea what we can expect from the central market because I heard it's like a flea market. We just saw it from the outside when we arrived in Malaysia. So now it's time to go in and just explore and see what we find there. As we said in the last episode, we absolutely love it that all the sideways have like a roof above it so it protects you from the sun or from the rain. market is I think like 100 200 meters going straight from here we are almost there I can already see it and over there it is we are here apparently this is kind of the same thing like Chinatown but just a big 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 market with all Chinatown vibes so let's check it out it's a central market since 1888 that's crazy 1888 can you imagine that Look at the tallest building here in Kuala Lumpur. It looks amazing. And again, whenever you check into a new place, you have to use the app, then you have to like scan the QR code and you are good to go. I see many, many shops, but also many shops close. I don't know if it's due COVID or you're too early, but it's noon already, so they should be open, huh? I think they should be open, but almost everything is closed. As usual, we are trying to find a magnate for Mark's family. He always brings one home and they are like collecting them, which is really cool. Yeah, today's mission is to find a magnet, find postcards and slippers for Lara and whatever we else like. I see a store over there that I want to check out. Let's go. Wow. So I think Mama would like this one. Oh, that's China market. I am also trying to find a patch for my backpack. Actually, I'm collecting the patches from wherever we go and then I attach them to my backpack and I think it looks really cool. I really like this one. This one looks really cool. I'm gonna find out how much it is and then probably get it if it's not too much. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. you work here? How much is it? Five lingyue. So she wants five. Not quite sure. If I get it, if more followers somewhere else. I don't know if uh, Chinatown sets these as well. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Have a nice day. I got my patch for 450, which is really nice. That's about one euro, and I'm very satisfied. This is gonna go on my collection. Your backpack collection. Yes. I think we found the postcards that we want. Exactly my vibe. Little anime style. Loving this one. This one, I think it looks like a painting. It looks really cool. So we're gonna buy five, get one free, and we pay 250 each. We will probably get 11, 12 for our family and friends. Our postcard buying streak is getting out of hand. We have 12 plus three, we have 15 postcards. It always takes about one or two hours to just write them, and then it takes us five. two weeks to send them. <laughs> Wow, what a nice lady, a very nice shop, a very cute shop, reminds me of Japan. We paid 32.5 for 15 postcards and now we gotta write them and send them home. <laughs> do you spend so much on so postcards? Do you send postcards? Please comment down below if you do uh, or is this just a European thing? They even have an upstairs area where you can buy clothes and also there are some restaurants. Uh, it seems like upstairs is some clothing, but mostly the food area. You're 
reminds me a little bit of the Ubud art market in Bali, Indonesia. Like, it's all the shops and handcraft items and sarongs and clothing. It's really cool. Okay, let's go to Chinatown and let's check out what they have. Kuala Lumpur is so cool. I love all the architecture and how clean it is. The cleanness reminds me of Japan. It's, it's amazing. We already talked about Kuala Lumpur that feels like a mixture of like Tokyo and New York. So yeah, really, really cool. Wow, the shop over there looks packed. Unfortunately, they have only meat here in Asia. The vegetarian options are always very limited. Most of the time, my options are limited to Migo Rang or Nasi Goreng vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, that's it, most of the time. But I think it also is because we aren't really sure about all the dishes here. When we come to a new country, we have to figure out what can we eat, what can't we eat. So that always takes some time. But here we are. That's the Chinese uh, Chinatown market. And it starts already with some bags. I think it's so funny that they just sell like um, corn to face. Yeah, that is just so so new to us. We don't know this from Germany. Nobody is selling fakes in Germany. Wow, this Chinatown market is huge. Like it's a long, long street with a lot of vendors that are basically all say, selling the same things. Mark, how come that always you find clothes, huh? I don't know. I was uh, looking for t-shirts like this one. I actually bought this one a couple of days ago here in uh, Malaysia. These are really cool. I think they would look nice on Mark's sister. We just noticed Lara needs a hat anyways because her hat gets very hot in the sun. She has dark hair. Oh, it looks actually it's cute. It's too big, isn't it? The problem is like it's pretty close to my eye already. It's like really big. Too deep, huh? It's like this. <laughs> oh, your swagger. How do I look? I look like a fisher, right? No, uh, you look like a swagger. Good vibes here on the Chinatown market. How do I look? <laughs> you look expensive. So this is the first time I'm uh, trying on a different sunglass than the one I usually have. I feel kind of like Johnny Depp with these ones. These are cool. No, I like these. <laughs> I'm very unsure about buying uh, the sunglasses. I actually kind of like them. The price already went to 35 ringgit. Maybe I buy it, maybe not. You will see. I found some slippers. Actually, I'm trying to find some without branding, which is probably quite hard on a replica market. <laughs> yeah, you won't find slippers without branding. Yeah, I'm gonna go with some... Gucci's. Yeah, with some Gucci's. <laughs> <laughs> actually nice. Very, very thin material. Perfect here for Asian weather. Also black. As you know, we have only black clothing. Makes the laundry much easier. We have Patagonia, that Under Armour for women, actually. They have every single brand you can imagine. And I don't know why, but they have a lot of socks. Who wears socks here? It's too hot. Oh, underwears. Versace underwear. Calvin Klein. Oh, Lara found some hats. Oh, let's go! It's yeah, nice. Yeah. This one is a little, little better, yeah? Yeah, it's better. What do you think? It's strong. Yeah. How much is it? 25. 25? Yeah. We'll think about it, yeah. So I'm pretty positive that I want the cap. Uh, we will probably go back and buy it. Hopefully she gives it to me for 50. I really hope so. Maybe I can get it for 18. <laughs> But I would also buy it for 20, not gonna lie. The problem is we would buy so much stuff because so much stuff is really cool. But you can only carry just so much so right? much while you are traveling. So we always have to like, if we buy something new, we have to throw something all the way. Sometimes I'm just walking around and I'm like, wow, this would be nice for da da da, this would be nice for da da da. And then I'm tempted to buy so much for our families and friends. But Mark is always like, no, don't. Shipping is expensive. We just we just asked the shipping company how much is it to ship a parcel, parcel to America, and it was like 200, 200 euros. euros, 100 euros with the like cheapest company. That's expensive. Okay, let's keep looking for slippers, magnets, and maybe sunglasses. They have Tommy Hilfiger, Lala. They're pretty small. Do you have bigger Tommies? Bigger size? No. 
How about these ones? These are cute. <laughs> no? Okay. It's very hard to find something if you have a picky woman. Just slippers. I think that's a good thing because otherwise we would spend a lot more money here. So cool. They're all in plastic. So we are these are cool. These are like running shoes. And we have some Yeezys. It's actually not bad. I had the legit ones. These ones. And these ones. And they feel actually pretty good. These are actually cool. These are the off-white dunks. I always wanted them. But they are so expensive. Sweet potato balls. That sounds really interesting. Yeah. Five pieces, three ring. Thank you. I'm gonna try my sweet potato balls now. Can it look like Onda Onda from Indonesia, huh? Exactly. I feel like it's a little bit dry because have you ever eaten like mashed potato without anything on it? It's like a little dry, but the taste is really delicious. Let me try. It's actually delicious. I like it a lot. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Fried sweet potato? Recommended. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What do you find to eat? Sa Yong? Sa Yong. Sa Yong. Chinese donuts. Chinese donuts. Yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome. Nice day. You too. Nice day. I have no idea what's in there. They told me, but I don't know the flavor. But it's no meat. It's all vegetarian. So let's try. Donuts usually don't have meat, right? There's a lot of powdered sugar. Yeah. I think it's not filled at all. <laughs> It's just fried or baked, so yeah, yeah. But it's actually delicious. But they could put in some jam or something. Lara is going to buy the hat here at the woman's store we've been previously at. Ask for 15. 20 is okay? Okay. Yes, I got a 20. And it oh, looks really nice. You probably remember Mark's head. It always has this Bintang yep. sign in the front, which is actually a beer brand and we are not even drinking beer. So we basically always look like tourists. There needs to be another one that he can buy. I need a mirror, 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 mirror. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's too small. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have a thank you. Good day. Have you a good too. Day. It's not done well, but it does the job, yeah. So how much are these slippers? I still 45 for you. 45? Yeah, 5 for you, I give you 40 ring only. 40? 40 is too expensive, sir. That's too expensive. Wait, 40 is like 10 euro. That's just too much for like, if you even can see the blue on the side. Etihad. Etihad. Yeah, Etihad, cool. please sponsor us. <laughs> Qatar or India, we really aren't that piggy. They're the same company, Lara. They are? Yeah. Oh, we are back at the sunglass stand and Mark is thinking about buying them. What do you think? Yeah, I'm a rich. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I, I do have to. So this looks blurry. It's more sharp. 25. This is how decision making goes with Mark. He's just standing here, thinking, 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 and after about 30 minutes, he's like, maybe. So, yes, we do have a winner. We bought some sunglasses. How much did you pay? 25. I thought he was screaming at us. I paid 25. How do you like them? You guys gotta tell us. Was it a good buy? Wasn't it? Tell us if we overpaid or not. And also tell us whether you like the old ones better or the new ones. This is the new one. We didn't expect to buy this much. Like we are... We, we bought we, a hat, we bought sunglasses. And I see juices. Maybe I want a juice. Ooh, this one sounds delicious. Lara, what's you getting? Pineapple dragon fruit, if they have it. Do you have pineapple dragon fruit juice? Oh, uh, one. One. Lima ringgit. Wow, this looks really good. It's actually big. It's actually really big. It's pineapple and dragon fruit. So let's try. Wow, that is delicious. Wow, wow. 
delicious. Actually delicious. If you're watching this, Mama, now you see how much trouble it is to find all these magnets I had searched for you. So we need like the yummy magnets because they fall often because they are all in our door. And then if you slide by the door, the magnets fall and then they all break if they are not and gummy. So. Maybe we can show you a picture. And this would be a lifesaver as well. Because it's raining every day. Alright guys, this was our day here at the Central Market in Kuala Lumpur and the Chinatown Market here in Kuala Lumpur. And we have to say we had a blast. It was so much fun and you can spend so much money here. Especially if you have the baggage and you go home, you can buy endless things. Definitely a recommendation from us to you if you are in Kuala Lumpur. Definitely worth checking out and just strolling around, buy some things. We bought more than we have expected to buy. So we are very satisfied and we'll now go home. Go home, yeah. And the slippers we'll find it probably in another episode, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and we're gonna see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Welcome back guys to another video here in Colombo. In Colombo, yeah? I can't say anything. We pay. Wow. See how she's upset with me already? Take a, take a sip. <laughs> take a dip. Take a sip. Take a bite. Let's go to the central market. Very excited! Should we walk or does that mean we have to walk? Walk, we will walk there, okay. Berapa harganya? Berapa harganya? Very! Oh. 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 This is gonna go to trash now. Was geht ab, Leute? Ich bin hier im Laden. Der Laden gehört mir, so viel Geld habe ich.